Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. This is Hugh Mayers, and it is the High Caliber Man podcast. On International Men's Day, I was invited to have a public conversation with Lady Essie and DJ Supreme on the More Knowledge Show from Conscious FM. We explored a number of dynamics that impact men and their relationships, be that Fam familial relationships or romantic love interests. But we also spoke about some of the deeper inner affairs that we have as human beings, but some of our strengths and hidden potential. So I'd like you to take a listen and uh, leave a comment. Remember to share or subscribe. Tony, why a lot of people do stay in certain relationships or become codependent. So I know a lot of people the fear of being alone. I've heard about that. Yeah. A lot of people. But there's also the fear of being alone on a deeper level of like, even we have language and we know people, and whatever, but nobody truly understands. Like we are, in a way, we're alone in our inner experience. Mm. Oh, okay, that alone. Of language of like, when you go through something, some people might connect with you on a certain level and say, oh, I empathize or da, da, da. But like, only you truly know about your private thoughts or what yeah. you Purities or what you're going through, or your joys, even. You know what I mean, I oh, was that. Is that the people that kind of they have a lot of people, but then they isolate themselves from others, um, in a sense. But they they've got a lot of people around them, but they. No, but we like human beings. We we generally like connection. We generally yeah. like mm. connection, and there's something about that fear of being alone. Um. So, okay. so for example, dude is you know, got a good prestigious kind of like image and income and things that will make him, um, you know, attractive to women, right? Status. And so he breaks up, breaks up a significant relationship, but he, but the fear of being on his own, he can meet women that, you know, easy. It's not, it's not a big deal, but the fear of being alone and having to face that feeling of that breakup will make him take a, a, a go on a rampage, for example. Mm. Okay. Just working with someone. I see we don't. Yeah, but yeah, I got time to wait. And it's just with different women, superficial. But it's like I don't want to be by myself. Yeah. You know, like people that don't want to turn off the radio, the telly, and sit in silence. So they they got everything on at the same time because they're not really listening to the telly, but it's drowning out the, the silence. Yeah. Out the silence. Yeah. They just drown out the silence. So some people are like that as well. Mm. The drown, drown the stillness of their own. Because if I'm quiet. I'm left with my own thoughts and that will be terrifying. So let me busy that. Let left. me fill that with, mm. with women and wine and wonder and just let me just fill that necessary, you know, like, because I don't really this is, I face. guess this, this, wasn't this some of the things that a like, lot of people that ended up having to work from home during the pandemic and the ones that are kind of like running back to the office and then trying to convince the rest of us that are like, you need to be back in the office, why? No, <laughs> I don't. Well, I, I like being at home. No, no, no. You need to be back in the office because there's people that are like, are you in the office? You need to come back in the office. You're like, I like my own company enough now. I'm actually okay. Mm. And some, but some people aren't. And I understand that some people need that interaction and they need yeah. to be around yeah. other people and they and they enjoy it and they like all of that. And others of us don't. So it's like, well, just for those that like it, let them go do what they're doing. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. You, I mean, imagine we're, human beings are we're, we're, as people, right? We're our animalistic side is like we're we're, we're part of a pack. <laughs> we we have families and we have packs and we have we we got towns, man. We built civilizations because we don't like to be by ourselves. Mm. Mm. You know the way that we've kind of like developed as, as 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 modern humans, right? Yeah, we don't just walk the wilderness and like you know like something like a kind of I don't know a bobcat or certain animals are just by themselves. Just do their own thing. Mm. Once they got oh, suckled and nursed and that they cut and they go by themselves. Mm. Now human beings move together. And I think we're better together, to be honest with you. We're, we are kind of like better together in, in, a, in a respect. There's nothing wrong with having space and time to go and walk by the river or take a time out and check in with yourself and, you know, like that kind of thing, register with yourself. But yeah, we're meant to be in relationships. Yeah, yeah. I believe anyway, and in families and stuff like that. I mean, I know men, we do better. We live even longer when we're, when we're with a woman. So I'm not even on the front. I know that we're capable and we built civilization as men, right? But listen, <laughs> we do better when we're with a woman. And we do even better when we're, when we're with a good woman, God damn it. So I'm yeah. not going <laughs> to be ashamed to say that, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Yeah. Can I, can I, I say a, a good woman Sorry. who can cook, not burnt food, you know? <laughs> 
like I said. Barbecued. <laughs> 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 so, so do you think that's so, a can, can I say something to you? <laughs> no, the situation here, yeah? She brings you food that is burnt, and uh, it seems to continue. How do you challenge that? <laughs> How, do you say... Darling, it's it's slightly overcooked, or what? Or, or, or how would you now now you say? If you, you, you can encourage that you go on a cooking classes together <laughs> as bonding. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds a, like bond, a, 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 a bonding yeah. exercise. Like maybe might maybe might go and do. Let's go and do some like make chocolate or make cocktails. You might do a fun thing like that. Then after that, you throw in the cooking one after. Let's learn well, how if to you make got, if you got auntie, If you got an auntie or something like that, you say, oh, my auntie knows my favourite dish. And I was thinking, I wanted her to show me how to make it. I'd never learned how to make it. As, but maybe we could go together. Yeah, you do it as a we. You do it as a we. We, yeah. man, it'd be fun. It'd be, it'd be fun. You'd love her. You'd love her. You'd love her. You'd love her. And uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, get that fixed. <laughs> yeah, you do like that. Because if, if, if you like, you can't cook your really bad, then the insecurities will come out. I, I remember watching that um an episode. I think it was a, a wife's spot when they went to um a, a, a English family, white English family went to Caribbean island, and um no, they had to swap. You know when the family swap and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holiday, they got come on a holiday, and the white guy ate the fish and he went, What's that? What's that? What's that? He didn't even like do it neat like in a tissue and kind of bit spicy, he just spat it out like so. I'm suggesting don't do that with your woman, even if you don't like your woman's cooking. Try not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's that? Oh, That's nasty, man. What's all that? Like, no, try not to do that. Try yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that that'll be yeah, that be so offensive. Like, the feelings will be hurt. So you've got to do it in a way that you know. A yeah, like we said, people have feelings, yeah. People, we have to consider those <laughs> that we care about feelings. Yeah, like, you got you got to you got to give feedback constructively, constructive feedback in a way that the person's going to take it. Mm. You know, in a way that's nice. Yeah, I've I've you know. just got a text, and it says, <laughs> "Why should the woman cook?" But I can see the person is still typing. So <laughs> it, it was just to pr pr prompt um, and provoke people to talk. Yeah. <laughs> so to, to that, listen, I can see you. Somebody's been provoked. So that, that's all. That's all you, Supreme. That is you, Supreme. <laughs> yeah, provoking the people, man. No, him, I like, like it. You, yeah, yeah. It's him. It's him. Right. Yeah, but oh, they've put maybe that's not her fortune. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Dan Yinka, for that message. But again, yeah. when we're looking at um. I'm I'm just saying relationships and there's problems. And this is what I was gonna say to Hugh. Just uh we, how do we look at solutions? Me and Lady Essie, when we first started the show to this evening, we were talking about how do you keep the fire burning? Yeah, how do you I keep, keep how burning. do you keep that romance like you know, you know, and because Essie spoke about, you know, that she goes and talks to people that are 20, 30 for, years. 20, 30, 40, yeah. 50, 60 years, yeah. Those to are say, what, what has kept mm -hmm. the, what's kept that flame? What's keeping that, um, what, what is it that we should be doing or could be doing to kind of say, you know what, let's keep it like that tune, solid, solid, is it a rock? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. There's mm -hmm. definitely things that you should and shouldn't do or are helpful and unhelpful. Um, mm -hmm. I think that, like, one thing I've noticed with those people who have very successful relationships is, like, finding a space where they can be real with each other. Mm. You know, you just talk about, like, not spitting the food out, but on a more, like, on a serious level, it's, like, being able to be real, but at the same time considerate. Because mm. there's a skill, isn't there, like, in dealing with the difficult subjects. Mm. And there's a way of doing it where the person that you're talking, where you're sharing with might feel disempowered. Yeah. Mm. And I think there's a difference between when you're telling them certain sensitive things. It could be to do with the bedroom, for example. What's more sensitive than that? You yeah. Know what I mean, this there. Yeah. But there's a way, there's a skill in where that person feels they might be left feeling like, hey, I really want to. I feel motivated to, to impress as opposed yeah. to like I felt dumped on, I felt belittled or demeaned. You know what I mean? So I think that's that's really important, whatever the, whatever, whatever area of the relationship that people can be really transparent and real about where they're at. 
Mm. If you're not, that sometimes turn into resentment and fester and stuff and just get, get you know turn horrible. So I think that's probably one of the, the main keys is to keep that that so not just communication where people say, Oh, communicate, it's just and it's just a kind yeah. of like, cliche, like that deep level, like I really know where my woman's at, and my woman knows me well. You know, we know we know each other and we know where each other's at, and we understand we have a real good understanding. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So that's that's really important. Do, I think you, the other yeah. thing as well is like is like both seeing it as a um both are motivated to to bring excitement to the relationship. There's nothing like where one person's left feeling like they're the entertainment. Like you don't do anything to you don't do anything for me, or you know, like you, I, you kind of like got to be a dancing jester. Your person's felt like you know mm-hmm. you're here to entertain me. No, no, we're yeah. here to satisfy each other. Yeah, like That's a double we, act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So uh, it's almost like competitive. Oh. You bought flowers and you booked this holiday, but you don't know what laundry I got. Or, you know, like kind of like mm. coming back at you. So as opposed to the spiral of you say something horrible to me, then I get meaner to you. It's more like you showed me a level of kindness and compassion, and I'm gonna go and get thoughtful. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh wow, you got thoughtful. All right, I'm gonna like master your love language. When you master my love language, I'm gonna master attachment stuff. I know you now. <laughs> yeah, so you're, on a, you're in a spiral, but it's an upward spiral. You know, like you know, spoiling each other motivating each other inspiring each other you know and would you also say because obviously when you're with someone for a long time a lot of the couples that I spoke to us they've been together for many many years Mm. that one of the things they sort of said is as people grow differently because everyone's that you grow you're not the same as when you first married like in your 20s if someone's in their 60s or 70s by that time but it's also kind of growing with the person so Mm -hmm. adjusting to the growth that each of you might do so you kind of that's the word like oh they don't seem the same person anymore Mm. but they are just grown but you've both grown together but you've learned how to adjust to each other's growth people say that when you when um in marriage, you know, these type of committed relationships where people have a common interest or they, they have things that they, mm-hmm. they always do together. Yeah. That, that's something that binds them, whether that is the children, whether that is because they work in a certain business or whatever it is, or just the romance itself. But it's something that keeps them um, together. Yeah, you've got change, you, but they do, they do yeah. things a lot together as opposed to some long distance. There's a certain distance. Can't be more. Yeah. You've got to have a common Gro- that growing, That growing together because we've been on the, we're on the same part of the journey together, yeah. you know. Yeah, you've got to have a common interest. You've got, you've got to have something that you both do regularly together, in a sense. Um, humour, I was told as well. Humour is one of Not taking each other seriously. Not, not taking this, And not taking yourself too seriously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah taking yourself too seriously. Yeah, yeah. humour. Not taking yourself seriously was one of the things they said. And sometimes giving each other the space to do different things. Yes. To yes. kind of, like... Yeah, so sometimes just sometimes knowing that if your hus- if your partner has a shed, let him go have his little man cave <laughs> and do his thing. If that's his man cave, let him go. If he wants to go fishing or go football, let him go do it. Can, so if he wants to go can, do her thing, can, let her go mm, do it. <laughs> we'll go to the hairdressers. Yeah, yeah, let, let her go do her thing. Yeah. Let <laughs> Talk to the women and have a little good old fashioned gossip. Not I mean conversation with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> a little gap. Yeah, that, that, thing, that, that's so that's that space. Is that space? Yeah, her time. Yeah, your time. Your time. Let let each other have that time. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's, it's healthy. Uh, can I make a confession here? Yeah, go uh, on then. Right, I, and I know, I know, I know my personality, and I can be seen as sarcastic, but. I, I've actually said to somebody, there's a reason why I'm sarcastic, because sometimes people, in being sarcastic, sometimes giving people the full truth in one dose is an argument. Sarcasm, to me, is an art of dealing with certain situations without hurting a person's feeling. And even in the same... They say it's the lowest form of wit, but the highest form of intelligence. And it's not meant to put people down, but you can be sarcastic, but make a point. So Mm -hmm. how the Mm -hmm. person receives it and take it would be how, you know something, he said something there, but I wonder, you know, you you get what I mean? So Mm -hmm. I'm saying I know that's in my personality. 
I know. So some people may not like it, and some people will probably think, you know, he's made a point. He's a bit sarcastic, though. You know, but, you know, um, and again, when you're being sarcastic to me, yes, challenge the sarcasm. You know, like, what, what do you mean? You know what I mean? You know, I hope I've explained myself. <laughs> but, you know, in being sarcastic, you can kind of say, you know, um, I'm going to say something, in, for instance, oh, those shoes, those shoes are a bit loud, isn't it? I'm not saying they're rubbish. <laughs> Am I, though? You get what I mean? But that's a sarcastic yeah. way of saying, them shoes ain't right, sis. <laughs> They're a bit loud. <laughs> Humor, <laughs> yeah, takes is is like a little bit of you know medicine, right? It's, yeah. it's sugar in the medicine, yeah, yeah, sugar in the medicine. yeah. So you know, sometimes you can kind of, I don't know, I it's just seen that in certain it's people can actually, but they but they know that's your if they know that, and again, it's knowing your communication style. If that is kind of how you kind of communicate, some people are mm. like, okay, that's how he is. So. Mm. You know, so it's 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 the being a flexible. It's I also think it's about giving people the grace. Mm. I think I, I call, that's the word I like to use to give people the grace. Okay. Um, yeah. what, what do you mean by that when you use that term, grace? Is this? Um, you know, sometimes you know that some people aren't. Some some as humans, we're always gonna. We sometimes we're gonna fall short. We're not always gonna do what we should do mm-hmm. or know what we can mm-hmm. do. And everyone mm-hmm. is going to fall short. We all fall short in some areas. So when your partner has fallen short in a particular area, and they've apologized, they've 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 account, they've been accountable to it. They know they have. They've apologized. I I didn't. Whatever. Give mm. them the grace. Don't be like you. Like mm. you didn't do that on Monday the twenty whatever of this date. Blah blah blah. And you continue to kind of batter them. Oh, with that's like them as I say. Keep the keep. But knowing that you know, it gives them the grace. So you know what? You've been accountable. You know you've done that. Hello. Hello. I don't know if that was me. It went a bit. It went a bit quiet. He dropped off, Sister Essie. He dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went low. He came off speakerphone or something. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So it's it's that thing called the grace. You know that people. Still a little bit low. Can you hear me? Yeah, but it's very low for some. Well, I'm hearing it's low. And I think that's someone. That's better. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 yeah so it's about giving, you know, and acknowledging that, you know, you fall short, you, they fell short, but you give people the ability to say, all right, I'm not going to hold it against you. Mm. You know, mm. not always, because that's sometimes, that's what the thing is. You've done something in your past, you've apologized for it, you, you're trying to do better, but, but your partner keeps reminding you. Mm. They keep reminding you of your shortcomings. Um, like you're trying, yes, to, you're trying yeah. to do better. It, it, you're trying it, like, to do better. Like it's punitive. It's like punitive, isn't it? You have to yeah. um, draw a line. You have to draw a line. You have to draw. Yeah, a line. That, that's what that's what I mean by giving a person grace. Like you got to draw the line. Like yeah. You can't just keep yeah. going. So you, you, so we, you we, Yeah. No, I was gonna say we expect if we if the per, the person we're dealing with has done something which we consider wrong, right? We expect them to take accountability. But then when they take account accountability and say, hey, listen, fair play, you know, blah, 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 and, you know, my yes. bad, right? Then we're supposed to say they've done to rectify. They're not doing it continuously, so then we draw a line. We can't say, you know, back in 1972, you didn't match my, 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 my pinky toe, and I never, ne- you know, like, you can't live live in the 1972 with a pinky toe. You just got to, you know, draw a line. Hey. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously, if the person hasn't, then obviously, you know, people. some people won't be accountable to behavior that might be different but like if the person is and you can see there as my angie goes when you know better you do better mm, okay. powerful i'm powerful. just saying um sorry i'm just reading a message from dan Yinka. she says share and be real truthful okay just yeah. going to mention the studio number if you want to send a text uh, we have hugh mayor's uh relationship coach sorry number is zero seven Nine zero three eight four six one seven seven, and we will um, take uh, read out your text to you and and to Lady S, and we'll discuss it. Um, once again, that number is zero seven nine zero 
3846177. And that's just for this show only. Um, Hugh, mm-hmm. I'm going to confess because it's what, what did you say? International Men's Day. Was it um, yeah, Essie? Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday was Friday gone. Hugh, I went mm-hmm. on a I went on a date. Yeah, I'm all ears, brother. I'm all ears. I was, I was in there, and I was going. I was going good. It was restaurant everything going good? All of a sudden, a hand grenade comes out. She says, "You talk too much." <laughs> Charming. Yeah, so I, I was like, I, I, I even, I, I sat down, put my head, I rang me good friend, two weeks lady, Lady Essie. I said, Lady Essie, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> but going on a date, and in all seriousness, what are the key things? Because I know you, you, you're involved in soul to soul connections. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you were, we were looking at um, a dating service for people of a certain age and a, uh, and from our culture. But uh-huh. going on that uh-huh. date now, after years of being rusty, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. somebody yeah. telling you, you know, you talk too much. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, but it's a serious thing because I'm thinking to myself, well, the number one thing I'm going to say to you, Hugh, and Lady Essie, I don't like dead ear like you know what I mean like oh man it's just quiet was it quiet in my head you know like I've got to talk you know what I mean I just you know I need to Mm -hmm. you know yeah no I hear you man I hear you um and I would say that there is oftentimes when it comes to dating there's pressure on both parties it can be pressure on both parties because you know, women might be thinking about their own insecurities about mm. how do I look or how do I present physically because yeah. I know that men men are very optical, yeah. you know, and how am I, you know, I'm going to come across the right way. And then that men, yeah. we're kind of like expected to be the conversation or lead. Yeah. You, you watch these programs like Married at First Sight and the first thing the women complain about, he didn't talk much or he, or he didn't, you know, he came yeah. across this, he's all, you know, like, his personality, he was an open, he didn't tell him, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't want to give me his whole print out about him and his ex's life, he was very closed off, and, you know, so you're kind of being policed as a man in terms of your conversation, the woman's being yeah. policed and judged for a look, so everybody's going to get judged, yeah. so there's a lot of, there is a lot, there is a lot of pressure, and I, I think that you can only be the best version of yourself, but you can't be something else, yeah. you can't be what you're not, yeah, it's so, true. You know, um, perhaps sometimes so. it's about mm, yeah. accepting the fact that, you know what, this person's not compatible in the sense of I'm a talkative person, and if 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 they're not, and they can't deal with that, mm. then I don't know if he's got any legs. So it's, it's a pleasure. It was a lovely evening, my dear. It's lovely. You do take care of yourself. <laughs> Wish you all the best in your future pursuits. But Good do, night. Do, but do you think we say people sometimes? Or in the hood, we say bye, Felicia. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but even which one, however we do it, you know, it's, it's a wrap, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a wrap. Um, because I watch, I like watching um, is it first dates hotel and a first date one where they go to the restaurant where they put yeah. two people together. Classic show, classic it's, show. It's, but but for psych, but watching it from a like psych, psychology perspective, one like you got you, you you see the pressure, you see the people yeah. that are quite calm, and like you know, but you see the people that they're so they're so under pressure, so anxious, and so nervous mm. that they just mess it up. Mm. You know, you, you, and yeah. where you're like, oh no, you should have said that, you know, because I mean? you're giving too much weight on the first date. Mm. You know, mm. you know I, I, I need to give you all the information right now. I need to give you everything. I need to lay it all on the table. And then you have the others that are just look like they're not interested, but they were interested. But they didn't want to show they're not interested. You know, you... And then and then they were so non interested, the other person thought, oh, he didn't like me, or well, she didn't like me, but they did. And it's so subjective, though, Lady Essie, right? When it comes exactly. to chemistry and how people click, yeah, I think there's there might be a a, a, a short list of of things where you say, "Oh, there are definitely things you shouldn't do," right? But mm. in this, the grey area is absolutely huge, almost infinite, about what you sh- what you should and shouldn't do. It's a bit grey because it really just depends on the person and the timing. You know what I mean? Because you could open up because of the conversation about something very personal from your past or that you're experiencing or whatever. 
And it might be in a, in a way that makes that person you're, you're speaking to, that woman, for example, as a man, you might hope, and she might think, I've really connected with him. He was real. I just mm. felt like his presence mm. was really nice. He's to trust mm. in that. Where someone was like, I went to my girlfriend, the red flag again, like red flag. Like, because, so it's not just for courses, you know, you know, it's all different. It's all different. And who's to say, you know, the, 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 the guy that's doing that, is wrong or right? It's just depending on the lady that he's dealing with, like that. It's just how the chemistry works. It's just, you know? yeah, it's like, no, you're right. It's subjective because, like, it like said, so for Supreme and when he went on his date and the lady said he you spoke too much, somebody else would have been loved it. Oh my gosh, he was amazing. We spoke forever and we'd like, it was fantastic. And, you know, that person would be like, was well, someone else for them? It was like, oh no. Yeah. Because it could be something opened up by your pastor in a certain way could be seen as vulnerability for some people, as strength. Like, no, he could be real. He's still mm. standing on your two feet, ten toes down as a man, but you didn't feel no way to open up. You didn't have to tell me about that, but you told me about that. So mm. I, 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 this person sounds like they're serious. And for somebody else, that's just a judgment. Like, yep, yep, that's me. Yep, yep, I was out of there. Oh, yep, because that, that showed me that this person is, you know, imperfect. <laughs> right mm-hmm. none of us are perfect but you know for some people it just it doesn't work it doesn't work for them like that they're into the the whole um you know front end thing i guess or just or they're just not ready for that or it's, it was too soon for them or so it's there's no kind of like perfect there's just no perfect cue there's just as i said there's a list of things you shouldn't do like break i don't know belch out loud or yeah. break wind or or as a man go Dutch, <laughs> or to go Dutch. You know, there's certain, there's just certain no nos, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, Hugh, I'm I'm just Thank gonna say, I'm just gonna say this to um, lady, and I think I've said it before. And this radio station is a certain age group here listening. Yeah. And one thing I'm mm-hmm. gonna say is that we come from the school, right, of raving, going in a nightclub. And that's how most of us have met uh, and had relationships. And most of those relationships, I keep it real, the lights are off, you're just dancing, the music's right, the mood's right, it's drinks is flowing, next minute number, you know what I mean? And that's how our relationships have started back in the days. Also, man, they're raving every weekend and they're, te- they're doing that and even ladies every weekend, you're meeting someone on the dance floor and, you know, and in a sense, it's a bit like speculating to accumulate something. So it's like you you could get a wrong and you could get a right, you could get a right person. But my point is that when we're coming from that old school now to sitting at a table, right, sitting down and having a proper date, I think a certain mm-hmm. age group is like they feel out of their... I'm going to say their comfort zone because they can kind of, uh, I mean, you can kind of um, brush off somebody not, you know, asking someone for a dance and they say, no, you can brush it off. But when you're sitting one-to-one and talking about your life, yeah, it's a different game. People getting rejected. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the things that um, I know you, like I said, you do the dating but there is a certain age group that now, I'm going to say right now, listening to this conversation, they've gone through their, uh, they've had their partner, they've had their children, they're in that zone where they they possibly say, you know what, I want to go and start something now. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. this is this is the this is the 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 zone that I think people will be in now, saying relationships, saying you know what. And in in that, what I'm saying, right, people are set in their ways. You know what I mean? Yes. They're mm-hmm. set in and their now, ways, yeah. And now, you, and now you've got the online no dating kind of thing. Yeah. And you've got the online, um, some people are into online dating. And now it's like some people don't even ask for your number now, they just ask for your social media handle. Mm. What's your social yeah. media handle? So sometimes, so now you don't even sometimes get asked for your number. I've, not, I've observed that with, with young people, right? Like, you know, if you're on the bus, you're in some public space, especially in the summertime, and you like, you see like a young boy, a pro, young man, you know, a teenager. Give me a social media handle. And he might say, what's your name? Where are you from? And he just says a few lines so before, like, give me a snap. What's your snap? That's <laughs> what's it. your snap? And I'm like, okay, that's how they get down. All right, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> yeah. Can I, Anna, can I, can I interject here? And I, mm-hmm. I'm going to say this, and it may work and it may not work, but I see the solution 
when I look at it, is that sometimes a third party has to get involved in the sense that I'm going to say, you know what? I'll use Essie, for example. Essie, you know what? You know, John, there's a nice guy at my blah, blah, and I think, you know, I think you and him will get on. I'll match me. Yeah, but sometimes a, a third person who people like, say, Hugh, you know, he's good. his judgment is good. And he's, a, he's very good with characters and personalities that maybe sometimes it may take a third party to kind of say, you know what, you know, indirectly, that little push may help. I, I, I think that's a cool idea. I mean, there's this, like we mentioned, Soul to Soul is a matchmaking service, right? Yeah. Or introductory service. So yeah. people are screened in a certain way. Yeah. And then like there's a, a kind of like and during that assessment, there's a it enables the matchmaker to go away and process and say, okay, these yeah. people have these things in common, or these things people make a, a good match. So that's on a professional level, but just on a on a on a kind of friendly level, it does work like that where you either hook people up, we used to call it, you know, hook phone number, giving people, you know, like introductions mm. or I got your friend number from your friend, you know, so and so told me that, you know, blah, and you kind of strike it up from there, right? Mm. Or Really back in the day, and I tell you what, this is what we need to bring back on a social level. Yeah, right? it's a dinner party. No television has to be on. Maybe it's not even no music, but just invite friends around who may not know each other. But you're the, the you're the inter um you're kind of intermediate. Maybe, yeah, you know, have a little bit of food, and we just sit down and break bread together, and yeah, see how people um conversate and how the chemistry works, and then you might say to your woman, um, we're just gonna go to the washing up, and you look craft to the kitchen and leave them to talk, <laughs> <laughs> leave the couple to talk. You know them ones like. Yeah, mm. those things can come back, man. We need to be a bit more social. I was just going to say social network. Club. Everything's in a club and in yeah. a public space. I mean, yeah. when I was a youngster, people said having a birthday function, you meant you was going to their mum's house mm. and it was friends. Now people say, I'm having a birthday function. They're saying, and um, is that Stratford Rex or is that, you know, like some yeah. kind of venue or yeah. something like that? It's like very impersonal. It's there's yeah. nothing family about it or whatever. Yeah. You're having a party. It's a club, it's not no party. Yeah. Bring the personal back. Yeah. yeah. Where's the personal? Inviting your friends to your home and, you know, like sitting down and, and eating and, 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 and talking about life and stuff like that, you know, mm. things like that. Yeah. So, 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 Hugh, before we soon got 10 minutes, so if people wanted to get in touch with you and some of the bits you're doing, how would they get in touch with you? Hey, um, you can get me on Facebook or you can um, get my details of, of uh, www.emotionalinsights.co.uk mm. you can get my contact details off my website um, yeah. for counselling or mental health training or matchmaking or couples counselling, whatever the case may be you can get at me that way or Facebook Hugh Mayers mm. Facebook Hugh Mayers yeah can you www.emotionalinsights.co.uk yeah yeah, okay. can, can you repeat it again? Just um, so Facebook is Hugh Mayers, or my website www.emotionalinsight.co.uk. Okay, well, I've got to say before we come to the end of our program, um, I'm very happy that uh, you did come on the line this evening, it's very interesting, and um. What I'm gonna say in a in a couple of ooh, let's say in December, I want to do an outside broadcast where we talk about black love, where you know we have that discussion, you know, in you know in a setting, um, which I'm I'm currently looking into because you know that like now people are looking to come out. So um, if you're listening to the program, we're go I'm gonna be putting this out very soon. Um, it will be in December, and I'm inviting yourself, you, to be part of the panel discussion. And um, I just remember, That'd be awesome, Katie. yeah, That'd be awesome. this, That'd be it just awesome. reminds me of um, my good friend who passed away, and he had relationship topics like what do black women want, what do black men want, you know, like that. That was the theme of the day, of the the, the evening, or you know. Um, uh, shouts out to Brother Dougie, which is very, which was, you know, it was very interesting because people came out, you know, cultural market and all that. But yeah, I'm going to say we're going to look forward to being 
putting um, events on with a panel discussion and a, an interactive um, crowd discussion, small crowd, because of the situation, what's going on at the moment, you know, we, you know, small, intimate crowd, you just have a mm -hmm. discussion, network, socialise in a, in a, in a good environment with good people. Right. So, yes. So I'm, I'm putting that out on the table. Um, is there anything else, Essie, you want to add or? No, just thank you Hugh, for um sharing your um insight your your insights, your wisdom with us today and on mm. relationships and how it applies across the board, not just romantic relationships, but also applies to um other relationships and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what would be your final words of wisdom to the listeners? Mm. Especially this time of year, I would say to people, remember to be kind to yourself. Self-care is very, very high on the um you know, put that put that high up on the list. Not yeah. going to take care yeah. of your car or to, you know, get decorating done and all this different external stuff for because of the, the holiday season, Kwanzaa, Christmas, X, Y, Z. But remember to take care of yourself and be nice to yourself. You know what I mean? In terms of your food, mm. your sleep, your rest, your downtime. Mm. Watch those things. Take care of yourselves, people. Mm. Watch those times. Watch what well, I, I call it um energy management, not time management, it's energy management, what takes up so much mm -hmm. energy. If if not you can say no to things if you know you can't attend, because you, know, you get a lot of invi invites for a lot of activities at this time of year and lots of requests for things, you can just say no. And it's okay. Exactly. Exactly. Been a pleasure, though. Been a yes. pleasure to you, bro. Trust me. Yes. Yeah. And there's different ways to say no. You don't have to be blunt with your no. There's different ways to say no. You can say no in ways that mm. if you thought. Because some people, some people, some people feel bad to say no to others. Mm. But sometimes you can say, I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. I'll check my diary. You can give yourself time to get back to you. Perhaps and before you say no, you don't want to say no outright. All those that are, don't like to say no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so Hugh, thank you very much for coming into the front room again with us. And as Supreme said, we will be catching up with you again in next month and obviously in yeah. the new year. Yeah. Life still will do it again, man. We'll do it again. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, indeed. Guys, I'll obviously catch you soon, yeah? All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to say a big thanks again to uh, DJ Supreme and Lady Essie and uh, the whole of the staff there at Conscious FM. And it um, was a very, very thought-provoking conversation for myself. And I know that even on the spin, while we were in discussion, I, I learned so much. But one thing to take away for everyone listening who stayed for the duration is that life is about the choices that we make, the conscious choices that we make, irrespective of the difficult experiences that we may encountered over life you know it's about the choices that we make that will determine what takes place tomorrow so thanks again for staying for the duration remember to like to share to subscribe and uh, leave a comment and but whatever you do remember to stay safe peace anybody know who willie lynch was anybody raise your hand no one he was a vicious slave owner in the west indies the slave masters in the colony of Virginia were having trouble controlling their slaves, so they sent for Mr. Lynch to teach them his methods. The word lynching came from his last name. His methods were very simple, but they were diabolical. Keep the slave physically strong, but psychologically weak and dependent on the slave master. Keep the body, take the mind. I and every other professor on this campus are here to help you to find, take back, and keep your righteous mind. Because obviously you have lost it. <laughs>